Hello, Katofix. So I just got home from <laughs> Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Wisma Putra in Putrajaya. And finally, I was able to get my CGC or Certificate of Good Conduct, equivalent to police clearance in some other countries. And yes, um, by the way, I'm an expat. I'm not a resident here in Malaysia. So how was I able to get one to secure a CGC? Well, here's how. Okay, so now I'm in the website of eConsolar. I uh, just have to change the language from Bahasa Malaysia to English. I'll also share the link of this website on the description below. Okay, so since I already have an account, I just click on login. But if you do not have one, click on sign up. Okay, just enter uh, the security code that's just being shown in the screen. There, click on login, and there, your dashboard is already displayed. And in my case, it will say the status is approved. But if you are still waiting for your application, it will say processing. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, uh, pretending that I do not have an application yet for a certificate of good conduct, my dashboard will look like this. And then you just have to click on certificate of good conduct on the left hand side of the dashboard it will have new application and list of applications so of course if you do not have an application submitted yet you just have to click on new application so let's just wait for the system to load okay so here's how it would look like so it has three sections it has first create application second is to check the application in checking of application this is where you'll be asked to confirm and of course check the details if all are correct that's very important because again this all information and in this page should be all information submitted rather of course should be correct and true okay and then, of course, the last step is clicking on Submit. Make sure to click this one because, again, the Certificate of Good Conduct, um, the application, the processing time, it will not start unless we have submitted it. Okay? So, on the Create Application section, there are four steps. First would be the submission or entering of your personal information. Next is Supporting Information. Third is the purpose of traveling. And fourth is submission of your photo. Okay, so once you're done uh, filling out the information on create application, and then now here on the check application, uh, it will look like this. And then on personal information, of course, you just have to put in all your personal info, including your address and your passport info. Supporting information, this includes your job information and your education information on the application information this includes your purpose of traveling the countries that needs the certificate and it will also ask you to upload if you have any supporting document on this part you can upload uh, a letter for like a visa request um, but on my case i did not upload any because i do not have one but it's all right I was able to get my certificate of good conduct even if I do not upload or even if I did not upload any supporting document. And the last part is the submission of the photo, which is the passport size face picture. And again, the bio page of your passport detail or the bio page of your passport. Okay. And again, yeah, I redacted and uh, covered the information for privacy purposes okay so once you you're done submitting your application and you're waiting for the approval you will also get an email from eConsular however I highly suggest that you always check the eConsular website because on my case I did not receive any confirmation saying that my application has been approved it's also indicated in the email by the way so best practice is to always log in and check the status of your application 
Okay, so on I'm back in my eConsular dashboard. And then I clicked on list of application to check the status of my CGC. Okay, so now it says approved. <laughs> and it says certificate of good conduct is ready for collection. Certificate collection slip. And then not date. Okay, by the way, it took me almost one month before I got my CGC. Uh, I actually requested or emailed them if it can be expedited, but they say that that is really the processing time. Processing time it's one to two months, but yeah, luckily I was able to get it before the the time or the before two months. Okay, so um, once you view the collection slip, it'll say your certificate of good conduct is now ready for collection. Please update your preferred method for certificate collection and payment method in the e-consular system. A fee of 20 ringgit will be charged per certificate. And the collection, it will be at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Putra Jaya. So the operating hours is also there. And what you need to bring is the printed collection slip, a printed of the online payment receipt, and your my cards but since i'm an expat so i'll i'll bring what i can bring my password with me during the collection or if a representative is collecting the certificate on your behalf then a signed letter of authorization is also required and by the way effective first of september 2023 so cash payment will no longer be accepted for certificate of good conduct collection okay so cash payment will no longer be accepted so um i'll show you on how to pay this one online so before closing this page please make sure to download the pdf and for backup save this in your phone or in your computer or laptop so you have a soft copy and of course do not forget to have this one printed. Okay, so how to pay the CGC? Go back to your dashboard, click on the view, and then you can go ahead and click on result. And then it says update ways to collect certificate. Click that one. Okay, let's wait for the system. So there. So it will ask you the location of collection, local or abroad. So of course, if you're here in Malaysia, click on local. Method of collection is a post or counter. For post collection, um, this is for the ones who are abroad. So please contact your nearest Malaysian embassies. Okay? And... Um, since I'm here, of course, I will be clicking counter. And then, um, like we've mentioned earlier, you can collect it by your own or by yourself. But if you have a representative, then make sure you have the authorization. And then, again, the nearest one uh, for if you're in Kuala Lumpur would be Wisma Putra. So, method of payment, like I've mentioned earlier, choose online payment since payment and counter is no longer accepted starting september 1st okay so once it's all correct or it's um all details are correct click on check payment details okay so i need to move to my mobile phone for the payment so there click on online are you sure you want to proceed with this method click on proceed it will say success method of collection has been updated so wait for the system to load so there um you're back on the payment information choose payment method click on that one then it will prompt you to fpx you have just have to select your bank okay and then once you've selected your bank we just have to click on confirm Okay, so after confirming, you can see there that your payment information has been updated as well as your bank info. So click on make a payment. Once you click on make a payment, you'll be prompted your mobile banking app. Well, I cannot show you on how to do that. <laughs> you know the drill, guys. 
Okay? So, once your transaction has been successful, it will give you an official receipt. Okay? Make sure to save the PDF, print the PDF of your official receipt because you'll be needing that in claiming your CGC along with your passport and your collection slip. Okay? Okay, so now it's collection time. Make sure you have all the requirements needed. You have your collection slip, your payment confirmation slip, your MyCAD, or your passport if you're an expat like me. Okay? So I got here via Grab. I just chose Wisma Putra Prison 2 or just type in Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Grab. And there. Once you got here, just have to scan the QR code, enter the details, Surrender your passport, they'll give you a visitor's pass. Head towards the lobby, and there's a, there is a signage that will say CGC. And yes, guys, it just took me, I guess, less than 20 minutes or 10 minutes for me to get my CGC. My travel time is much longer than the time I waited in getting my CGC. So, yeah, thank you so much, Malaysia. Um, if you know someone who needs this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe if this also helped you. Thank you mga katofix. God bless!